Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the constructor and group tags provided by Logos. Now these are useful if you're trying to support multiple versions of iOS with your tweak, and we'll see how in just a second. But first, let's take a look at the breakdown of devices that are currently running the Electra jailbreak. Now this is just for iOS 11. You have to remember that there are still people running iOS 10, iOS 9, iOS 8, and lower. Now it's great to support as many iOS versions as you can, but most of the time you're only going to be able to support a few before you can't support yourself. So we're going to take a look at how we can run different branches of code depending on the iOS version. So the easiest way to do it is to start with your constructor. Now your constructor is basically the entry point of your tweak. It's what happens whenever your tweak is loaded. So inside of that, we can actually check iOS versions. Now this doesn't do any iOS version checking. It actually just loads the iOS 11.1.2 implementation, but we can see in just a second how we can build on it and make it support multiple iOS versions. So we have a group at the top with the group name iOS 11.1.2, and then we have a comment where our code would supposedly go. And then on line five, we have a constructor with a curly bracket. And then on line six, we initialize the group iOS 11.1.2. So nothing happens here other than when our constructor runs, the iOS 11.1.2 group is loaded and ran. But if we take a look at a larger example, on line 11, we can see our constructor and inside of it, we check the iOS version. So on line 13, there's a check if it's greater than or equal to iOS 11. And if that's true, it will initialize the iOS 11.1.2 group. And on line 15, there's a check if it's on iOS 10. So if the version is greater than or equal to iOS 10 and it's less than iOS 11, initialize the iOS 10 code. And then there's an else statement at the bottom, and that's where you might handle unsupported iOS versions, but that would be up to you. So notice how the group always comes before the constructor. That's because if we were to try to initialize the iOS 11.1.2 group before it was defined, Theos would throw an error. So make sure your groups always go above your constructor. Now let's take a look at how we would implement this. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate how we can support multiple versions of iOS within your tweak. So for this, I've repurposed the red rectangle tweak that we created at the beginning of the series, and I've added two groups. One that only runs if the device is on or above iOS 11, and another that runs if it's below iOS 11. So the only difference between these two snippets of code is that the one for iOS 11 will show a green rectangle with a green color, and the unsupported versions of iOS will show a red rectangle with red color. Now the only thing that determines which one of these groups is ran is the constructor at the bottom down here. Now this code does work and it's simple to read, but I like another answer more than mine. So if I Google search how to check iOS version, Stack Overflow, this answer right here has the best answer as second. So if we just copy and paste this macro, it makes checking the iOS version a lot simpler. So instead of writing all of that version code, we can just use these like functions. So I can just write if system version greater than or equal to 11, initialize the iOS 11 group. And if it's not greater than or equal to iOS 11, initialize the unsupported group. Now the unsupported group doesn't have to show a red rectangle. It could tell your users that that iOS version isn't supported, um, that it might act weird on that iOS version. You can write whatever you want. But in this example, it's going to be a red rectangle. So if I compiled and installed this code, it would do the same thing as before. It would still show the green rectangle, but I wanna show what would happen if it was the red rectangle. So let's change this check to see if it's greater than or equal to iOS 12. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not on iOS 12. 
So if I make package install, and we wait for the respring, we can see that there's a red rectangle. And that's because our iOS version isn't greater than iOS 12. Now one thing to be careful of is there's a comment down here saying, be careful when using the optional point zero numbers. So if you're trying to check iOS version 7.0.0, it may give incorrect results for iOS 7.0. So I guess that means you should use just one point zero instead. I've never ran into that issue, but it's probably a real one. Um, and other than that, that's all I wanted to demonstrate. You can see that the group syntax is very simple. It's just percent group and then the name. And there's also a closing in tag. And then inside of there is the entire implementation of the tweak. So you can indent these if you want. It makes it easier to read. Also note that the constructor is a curly brace and a closing curly brace. There's no percent end with that. I think that just about wraps it up for this video. I hope you learned something. Leave any questions you have in the comments. Leave a like if you liked it. I'll see you in the next one.